welcome and, and thank you. Thank you for taking the uh, initiative uh, um, uh, to uh, set up the Athens Quality of Care uh, Office. I think it's uh, an important contribution of the World Health Organization um, to the effort that uh, we are making to offer better care to all Greeks. Uh, as you know, we've been pretty busy, <laughs> as has been everybody else over the past year in terms of dealing with uh, uh, the pandemic. In spite of the fact that we inherited a healthcare system with significant um, shortcomings, I think we've done probably better than most European countries in terms of dealing with the pandemic. We are also now um, facing a, uh, a third wave. Hopefully we've seen uh, its peak, but it is putting pressure uh, on our hospital uh, system. But I do want to point out that we have tirelessly worked to support our national healthcare system both with personnel and with infrastructure. We have added, uh, we've essentially doubled the number of ICU beds uh, within a year, which is also uh, a permanent contribution to the healthcare system and brings us uh, up close to the EU average in terms of ICU uh, beds uh, um, uh, per 100,000 uh, uh, population, which was a commitment that we had made. Uh, and uh, I think we've also used uh, uh, the, the pandemic to um, raise the awareness in terms of what needs to happen the day after, how important uh, digital services will be um, for healthcare, uh, the fundamental value of primary healthcare, which was always an issue we had been facing in Greece, uh, as, you, uh, as you know, uh, and uh, uh, other issues regarding the, you know, the functioning of our um, uh, hospitals. Uh, essentially, the, the pandemic uh, highlighted both the strengths and there were formidable strengths. Uh, we, we found reserves of energy which we hadn't really uh, you know, anticipated, which we didn't really know existed, but also some of the chronic weaknesses of the system. So uh, I do want to point out that my, my commitment uh, in, in terms of supporting the national health system is not just intact, it has been strengthened by the pandemic, and I'm very much looking forward uh, working um, um, uh, with you on the topics that we have identified. Uh, we are data-driven politicians. We've all become sort of experts uh, in, uh, in healthcare. Of course, the minister was a, an expert already, but uh, I think I've also um, become much more knowledgeable about this issue. Uh, and uh, my personal attention will be placed uh, uh, on, on this topic. We also have additional funds now provided by the uh, Recovery and Resilience Facility of the European Union, which we intend to invest uh, wisely in terms of offering uh, the best possible care uh, to all um, Greek citizens, all those who reside or happen to, to visit um, um, uh, Greece. So thank you again very much, and thank you also for your, for your kind words of uh, uh, support. I took note of your public statements, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to Greece. Uh, thank you so much, Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister. It's a, a great honor for me to meet you again. I remember that the last time we met was at the opening of the Onassis Children Transplantation Center, where I commended you, and I would like to do it again publicly, on the historical smoking ban in public places. This needs a lot of political courage, and you have done it, and I'm very, very proud of it, because tobacco is still the number one killer in the pan-European region. This is my first visit as the Region Director, but as you know, Prime Minister, you can consider me in another capacity as a great friend of your country. I have been standing together during the difficult times when not everyone had the solidarity in the financial crisis. And somehow we worked on the similar projects when you were the Minister of Administrative Reform and signed off a historical law on the primary healthcare and the EUP. And I remember very well, I think in 2014, you created with the Minister of Finance fiscal space for the first time to attract 3,000 family doctors, which now we are building on, and I'm very, very proud of this. The aim of my visit was threefold. First was to, as you were mentioning, Mr. Prime Minister, another historical event for WHO, and for me, as a new region director, the opening of the WHO Athens Office on Quality of Care. I think this is a win-win situation. First, it's a win for Europe. We know that globally, 8 million people die every year of poor care, and Europe deserves uh, good quality care, the people deserve this, and this will give the visibility to Greece that you are shaping health policy on quality of care and universal health coverage. And I'm very impressed how quick you and the Minister Kikelias pulled this together. Usually it takes years, 
but your government, you, your minister, are doing and implementing. Basically, everything we discussed at the Onassi Center, we implemented. I see this will be a hub for innovation that other countries can benefit, but also Greece, through collaboration with the National Agency of Quality of Care for Health. We met the president yesterday as well. And this is what people want if they want to trust public governance and health system. They want to see quality in mental health and primary health care. So congratulations and thank you to the minister, also to the alternate minister, Konto Zamanis, and the team. The second aim was the COVID-19 response, obviously, over pre-occupancy. And there, congratulations for your leadership. You have been leading also in Europe, for example, on the digital certificates. It's very, very important that you have this, the joint procurement. You're mentioning yourself on the reorganization of hospitals and ICU. We had a, a very good discussion on that one. That is, uh, was massive, not easy. But also on the core of my vision, and I know yours as well, leaving no one behind. We went with Ms. Kikilias also to an asylum uh, camp and uh, had an inspection, very, very full transparency. I really appreciate uh, that this was possible. And I know very well of the policy of leaving no child, no unaccompanied minder behind. And this is something, an example for many countries where people speak about solidarity, but not always implement it. So congratulations. And digital, of course, we spoke to the people. We just came from Megavax, Prometheus uh, Vaccination Center. We spoke to so many people ad hoc, so nothing was uh, prepared. It was very impressive. I mean, the intersectorality with the Air Force, the Army, Digital Minister, Civil Protection, led by the Ministry of Health, Dr. Kikilias, was, uh, I mean, outstanding. And this is the only way out of the pandemic. Now we have to scale up, indeed, the vaccinations and give faith in the vaccination. The, the, Please, and and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you pointed out, and I think we need to, 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 to repeat that, that the vaccines are safe. And, I, I, you know, and your points on the AstraZeneca vaccine, it's important that we also um, uh, repeat this. Uh, the vaccines are safe and effective. Uh, and the benefits far, far, far outweigh um, uh, the, the possible risk. So it is, it is important that th this point is also reiterated, and thank you for raising it. Yes, and the third aim was to a new phase of collaboration with uh, the leadership of Dr. Uh, Kikilias is on the mental health. And there we collaborate uh, with the Minister of Health, with De uh, Deputy Minister uh, Rapti, with a very quick uh, assessment. And we are thinking together on an attend summit already in July, uh, hybrid probably, but high level, again, to show the way. It's a priority for my vision for the next five years. And here again, like Greece did with the primary health care, with the mental health, you could be leading again. I'm very concerned. It's what I call a parallel pandemic of mental health. And this, we only see the tip of the iceberg. So to have this really financed also is, uh, is great. Yesterday, we were together at the parliament, where I also advocated for the five-year action plan on public health with many important elements. We need prevention if you want to be better prepared for the future. Greece has a much better life expectancy than other countries, but we can... Uh, also work together on that one. And then, of course, also on the primary health care with Secretary General Marios, who we also saw at the vaccination uh, center. And thank you also for including one of my senior advisors, uh, Greek, Pavlos Tedarakis, into the National Health Committee uh, as well. Um, maybe final uh, two points. One is that I established the Pan-European Commission on Health and Sustainable Development to rethink policy priorities in the light of pandemic. So I'm thinking ahead. The chair is Professor Mario Monti, used to be the Prime Minister in Italy. 18 high-level commissioners, particularly non-health people, mm -hmm. so that they can help me putting health high at the top of the political agenda. And the scientific coordinator is also from your country, is Professor Elias Mosialas, who I talk yeah. very regularly to. So at the G20 Global Health Summit, Mario Draghi agreed that we'll put forward the recommendations because we cannot let this happen again. And finally, my request to you, Mr. Prime Minister, to support me in all modesty. The EU now, and that's very good, is investing much more in health. I have a very good collaboration with the European Commission, but with the Ministry of Thinking, it would be good to have some big joint projects between the European Commission and the WHO Regional Office for Europe under the EU for Health program. Stronger Commission, stronger WHO, and vice versa. So if you could be our champion, also pan-European, would be great. And then finally, I want to say that I'm very, very impressed by your Minister of Health, both by the vision, but also the empathy. It's very important that we express empathy to the people, that they see that we are visionary, but we know what's happening in the people. Thank you again for this opportunity. My program is still not finished. 
I had never had such a, such a meticulously uh, packed program. I'm very, very impressed, and thank you for the hospitality. Tomorrow, I will meet Excellency Archbishop, he was number two, to thank him for pro-vaccination message and for a very important message that it's not about ourselves, it's about the other person. And then I will finish my visit on Sunday in Thessaloniki at the Medical University to speak with your experts on mental health. Thank you.